This is a brief overview of the implementation of pen and touch technology on a tablet PC platform with Microsoft OneNote at Whitfield School in St. Louis, Missouri. Whitfield is a small independent school in St. Louis serving grades 6 through 12. We're currently on a tablet PC program and we just want to give you some highlights of how we're using OneNote in that program. We have teachers that are heavily invested in getting inside the process of learning. They don't want to just look at one finished, polished piece of work and base uh, grades and uh, their ideas of how a student is learning on just that polished piece of work. They want to look at everything that goes on in the background that that student works on to create that finished product. So they want to bring that to the forefront and have knowledge of and contact with everything that student is doing. It's in that process uh, where we believe learning takes place the most. So if you come to our campus, you're going to see that, that word process, you're going to hear it a lot. It's going to be thrown around because it's something we do every day, all day, and we've been doing it for years. There are three other things that I'd like to highlight to give you an idea of how we implement Pen and & Touch uh, and Microsoft OneNote at our school. When we talked to teachers, there were three big things that they talked about in addition to process. They talked about the fact that they want their students to be able to explore. They want their students to be able to collaborate, and they want their students to be able to create. Let's look at that explore piece first. It's not just exploring the world around them that we're interested in, although that's part of it. We want our students to be able to explore traditional skills in a digital world. So I'm talking about things like handwriting, like annotation, like collecting and organizing research, organizing handouts. It could be as simple as uh, writing notes in the, in the margins of a reading assignment. These are things where, as a go-to tool, we look at Microsoft OneNote. It's a great tool whether you're a middle school student or a corporate executive to keep yourself organized, to stay organized, and to refer back to things. It's just a digital binder, a digital notebook. We use the term Trapper Keeper here a lot, but you can see we have notebooks on the left-hand side. A student can have as many as he or she likes. And then at the top, within each notebook, you're going to see section groups and section tabs, like tab div dividers in a binder. And on the right-hand side, you've got pages that are within those sections of that notebook. You can dump anything you want into these notebooks, and that's the thing I think we really like about it. Anything you can pull up on screen, you can put in here, whether it's media, images, audio. You can link your notes with audio recordings. Uh, you can do drawing, handwriting, and then you can search everything that you put in there for certain keywords. The next thing that, that teachers talked about is that they wanted their students to be able to collaborate. It's a huge part of what we do at, here at Whitfield. We believe that learning to work as an individual and to work as a part of a team, uh, those things are equally important. And they weren't looking for a technology tool to replace face-to-face -face collaboration. They were looking for a technology tool that complemented it in some way, that uh, made it that face-to-face -face time more meaningful, that prepared students for that collaboration. So again, we chose a tablet PC platform, and again, Microsoft OneNote is kind of that go-to tool for our, our collaboration, one of our go-to tools. I'd like to show you three different ways that we use collaboration and, and that we focus on collaboration. One of them is the student-to-teacher collaboration, one of them is the student-to-student -student collaboration, and one of them that we're just starting to get into is teacher-to-teacher -teacher collaboration. For that first example, student-to-teacher, we're going to look at a math classroom. And this teacher, uh, as all math teachers are really interested in doing, she wanted to see what was going on as they were thinking through that project, as they were writing and erasing, and she wanted to then store that information over time. So Microsoft OneNote is not uh, the be-all, end-all for us. We also use some other software, obviously, and one of them is Dino, uh, short for Dynamic Knowledge, and it's a, a synchronous, uh, in-the-classroom, quick back-and-forth kind of thing um, where lessons can be taught, notes can be interacted with, um, and she uses that for note-taking, but she also uses it for homework. And then she uses OneNote as kind of an overtime collaboration to store those things and to be able to give feedback on things. So a student might take notes in Dino in class, and then they dump that Dino file as a printed document into OneNote, and the teacher shares her notebook with the students. So the teacher has one large notebook, and inside of her large notebook, 
she's got section groups for each individual student notebook. The way we do this is we set up files on our local server um, for each teacher that's interested in this kind of collaboration with students. And by setting permissions on those folders manually, in this case, we are making it so the teacher can see into and interact with all student notebooks, but then a student can only see his or her version of that notebook, and both people have local copies. We believe that's really important because we want them to be able to interact with that file locally wherever they are. That's a big part of our tablet PC deployment here, is the, uh, the flexibility that it allows them to work anywhere. Another great thing about it is, again, we, anything we pull up on the screen, we can dump into OneNote. So when a student does his or her homework in Dino and works through a problem, um, handwriting through that problem, they can either print that to their OneNote notebook as a static file, uh, the way they might their notes in class, but they can also attach that file to their OneNote notebook and it would appear in the teacher's version of the notebook. The teacher can then double click on that Dino notebook and actually play back the handwriting as the student works through the problem. She can see uh, mistakes they made, she can see where they stop for a, and pause for a long period of time, where they might need a little more um, a little more coaching on a particular piece. She can also see where they erase. So again, the, the combination of OneNote and another piece of software to really get some interesting things done in terms of collaboration. Now depending on the grade level, we might like to treat organization of these OneNote notebooks a little bit differently. At our younger grade levels, say 6th, 7th, and 8th grade, where we treat organizational skills a little bit differently than we do in the high school, we may have a teacher that wants to push out a very structured OneNote notebook and then have their students use that structure for the entire year. Stick to that structure and learn how to place information and handouts and materials into that given structure. Things like chapter one, chapter two, handouts, quizzes, tests. Um, and then when they get into their later years into high school, we might have teachers that provide um, a little less guidance in terms of the structure of the notebook so that students can uh, go out on their own and be independent in their organization. Uh, this would be a case where teachers might post material online and then expect students uh, to come up with their own organizational structure in a OneNote notebook. In both cases, we're talking about teachers being able to collaborate and get into and have contact with student notebooks as the students are using them without taking the notebooks out of their hand. So it's useful sometimes for our teachers to be able to um, push out materials, handouts, uh, videos, annotated papers, things like that, through that shared OneNote notebook on our network drive, um, either by copying and pasting things into individual notebooks or through other, some other means. Next example is student-to-student -student collaboration, and what I want to have you look at is a notebook from a social studies class where they were tasked with creating a documentary that was about 15 minutes long that had to do with some aspect of the civil rights movement. These students were in part of groups of either two or three, and they worked through several weeks of planning, storyboarding, and then creating this documentary. So OneNote is a fantastic tool, it's a project portfolio, but again, it's not until you add the collaboration piece where it's really a, a dynamic tool for education here at Whitfield. So in this case, we have two students working together and they have a tab within their notebook. It's very much like the math notebook where the teacher has her version and then and can see all the student notebooks, but the students can only see their version. So there's a tab in there for project materials where we dumped a bunch of stuff that we went through in class that they can uh, go back and review and refer to. Uh, there's a tab for each student because the individual students were responsible for doing research on their own. And some students took handwritten notes in OneNote or on paper and then we, we scanned them in so that they could appear in OneNote. Some people did their notes, they were more comfortable typing and that was fine. They typed in OneNote or they typed in Microsoft Word or, or another word processing program. Uh, and then when they got to the point where they were finished with their research, they were able to refer to each other's notes and collaborate on writing a script. Now this is a, an area where again OneNote is not the be-all end-all because it doesn't provide all the tools that students need. We think it's important that they use, they choose the proper tool for what they're doing at a particular time. In this case it's two or three students working together on the same document at exactly the same time to write a script. OneNote doesn't handle that very well. It wouldn't quite look right in terms of the syncing. So they chose, many chose to use Google Docs 
and they would split screen using the Windows arrow features and it worked out really well. They then had to copy and paste to get it into that OneNote notebook. They could refer to each other's notes while they were working on the script, even if they weren't in the same room or even, uh, they were even at their own homes. The third example is teacher-to-teacher -teacher collaboration. And this is something we're just starting to do, but a great example would be that last project where they created a, uh, a notebook and we had two teachers team teaching that civil rights documentary project. So they could both get into, without being in the same room, get into student notebooks, comment, make uh, suggestions, um, become familiar with student work. And then when the grading came around, they didn't even have to be in the same room. They could watch the video file separately and collaborate on that assessment. We found something very interesting happening also. Instead of taking, again, taking the place of that face-to-face -face time, the addition of pen and touch technology in Microsoft OneNote made that face-to-face -face conference time more meaningful. So when we sat down with these students to conference their storyboards, we were aware as teachers of what they were doing. And the students were aware of our concerns and our suggestions. So instead of spending the time hashing out what they had done and, and having them summarize things and having us see that part of the process for the first time, we were able to spend that time talking about solutions and directions to take uh, and goals to set. So it made that time more meaningful. Another example would be this notebook, which is a notebook that four teachers set up to share, not over our local server, but through Microsoft SkyDrive, so that they could be out in LA for a conference. They attended different workshops at this conference, but they had a common notebook. It really made a big difference in the things they were able to take away from that conference, the experience that they had. So they had, again, a, a tab for materials that were common, like schedules. But then as they were sitting in the sessions they attended, they got a broader view of what was going on in the conference because they could see the notes that others were, were taking. And they were able to talk a little bit back and forth through handwriting. Then when we, were, when we were able to get together face to face in the evenings or at the end of the conference, we had that broader perspective on what was going at the, on at the conference made our conversations over dinner more meaningful because we didn't have to summarize what we saw. We could talk about uh, ideas and we could talk about directions to go when we got back to our school. And then the third thing that our teachers really talked about, and that's kind of a, another cornerstone of our curriculum, is that they wanted their students to be able to create using technology. And this is something that's, that's built into everything we do every day at Whitfield. Our students create content to share with others, either locally or outside in a broader community. This platform allows us, yes, to create. It's a very powerful produ production tool. But if we look at that Civil Rights Documentary Project, the big thing that the tablet PC platform and Microsoft OneNote made it possible for us to do was to be more prepared and have those face-to-face -face conferencing times become more meaningful. It allowed us, by using those uh, OneNote notebooks, to interact and collaborate back and forth. And that really made the finished product, that 15 to 20 minute video, yeah, it made it a little bit more polished, but really it, it made us understand the learning that was involved um, that went into creating that final product. Uh, it made our students more thoughtful about what they were presenting and the impact that that final product could have to their peers or to an outside community. So the combination of that tablet PC platform and Microsoft OneNote is, is, is a fantastic boon for the creativity part of our curriculum. That, in a nutshell, is a quick look at the implementation of pen and touch technology combined with Microsoft OneNote here at Whitfield School. We do a lot more with a lot of other apps on that platform. Feel free to drop us a line. You can find us at whitfieldschool.org.